Welcome to my lecture online. In this set of videos, we're going to talk about capacitance and capacitors. We're starting with the concept of what is a capacitor. Well, a capacitor is an electrical device that's made out of two parallel plate conductors that are facing each other very closely spaced together. So basically, we have two metal plates that are facing one another. There's a small separation distance between them and the concept of them that they have a certain amount of area on which they can store charge. When you do, when you push charge onto the capacitor, you'll develop an electric field between the plates and you'll have a potential difference between the plates. Now let's read some of the concepts of what a capacitor does and some of the properties that it has. So first we said that it was a device made out of two parallel plate conductors, but they don't have to be like this, what we can do is we can take two pieces of metal, foil, separated by an insulator or what we call a dielectric, and we can roll that into a cylindrical shape. So that's how you most often see capacitors. They tend to be cylindrically shaped because that's how they're constructed. But in essence, when you unroll them, you have the same concept again. You have two parallel plates. They may be rolled together. They may be standing side by side like that. And they, of course, have a certain separation distance. Within that separation distance, you can either have air or a dielectric. Notice when you push positive charges onto one of the plates, and typically that's done using a battery or a voltage supply of some sort, you push charges onto one plate, which then repels the positive charges in the other plate, which, is, which get driven off the plate, making the other plate negatively charged. The amount of charge you have on one side, the positive charge will be equal to the amount of negative charge you have on the other side. Basically, for every positive charge you push onto the plate, a positive charge will get pushed off the other plate, and that's how that works. The charges create an electric field between the plates, which we just talked about. It also stores electrical potential energy. It's a little bit like a spring. When you compress a spring, you store energy onto it. When you pile charges onto one side of the capacitor, you basically store energy onto that capacitor. So that's one of the things we do with capacitors. It also is a place where we can store charge. You can push charge onto the capacitor. So we, the way we say it is, it has the capacitance or the capacity to hold, store, to hold or store charge. So that's why we call them capacitors. It has the capacity or the capacitance to hold some charge or to store some charge. It also has a potential difference across the plates when it's charged. When it's not charged, when it doesn't have additional charge on it, it just, they're just two metal plates. But when you push additional charge on one of the plates, you create a potential difference between the plates, kind of like a battery. And therefore, we can say that it acts and functions as a temporary battery. When you store charge on the capacitor, that charge can then come back off the capacitor, just like it can get charge out of a battery. So for temporary periods, a capacitor can act just like a, a battery. So that gives you a feel of what a capacitor is. Of course, you're not sure yet how to use it and how to do the equations that you're going to be learning, but at least you now know what a capacitor is from a basic perspective. We'll show you some more videos to show you a little bit more about the equations that are going to be used in conjunction with a capacitor, how to calculate the capacitance, how to build a capacitor, and so forth. But that's coming on the next videos.